We are releasing GPT 4.5 as a research preview to ChatGPT Pro users and developers in the API. And we're working to bring it to Plus users, um, EDU and team starting next week. OpenAI's past releases, ChatGPT, GPT-4, and even GPT-4.0, shook up the AI world. But GPT-4.5? Instead of excitement, the reaction has been underwhelming. When OpenAI first announced GPT-4.5, they called it their largest and most knowledgeable model yet. But in the same breath, they clarified, it's not a frontier model. That's an unusual move. Usually, OpenAI hypes up their releases, positioning them as groundbreaking. But this time, they seem to be managing expectations right from the start. And the response? It wasn't what OpenAI was hoping for. AI critic Gary Marcus called it a nothing burger. An anonymous AI researcher told Ars Technica that it's a lemon. And across social media, users questioned whether this model was even worth talking about. The hype that once surrounded OpenAI's models? It's fading. Even diehard OpenAI fans aren't celebrating this time. The industry expected a leap forward, but instead, many feel like GPT 4.5 barely moved the needle. The shocking price tag. Let's talk about the price, because this is where things really get controversial. GPT 4.5 costs $75 per million input tokens and $150 per million output tokens. That makes it 30 times more expensive than OpenAI's previous reasoning model. GPT-40 for comparison, Anthropic's Claude 3 and Google's Gemini Ultra offer competitive models at a much lower cost. Even Meta's open-source Llama 3 models are giving businesses and developers powerful alternatives without the heavy price tag. So what justifies this massive markup? OpenAI hasn't provided a clear answer. Is it better reasoning, faster performance, a major improvement in accuracy? As we'll see in the next section, the answer is... Not really. For developers and businesses, this raises serious concerns. Many AI startups and enterprises rely on large language models for automation, customer service, and research. But if the cost of running GPT-4.5 is impractical, they have no reason to stick with OpenAI. At this price point, OpenAI is competing against itself. If GPT-4.0 is already great and significantly cheaper, why should anyone pay for GPT-4.5? That's a question many in the AI space are struggling to answer. It's still hallucinating. A lot. For all its supposed advancements, GPT-4.5 still hallucinates, and at a rate that's concerning. According to MIT Technology Review, OpenAI tested GPT-4.5 on a key benchmark and found that it fabricated information 37% of the time. That means in over one-third of cases, the model produced completely false or misleading responses. This is a huge problem. Hallucinations have been one of the biggest challenges in AI development. People use AI models for coding, research, and even medical inquiries. If the model can't be trusted, it loses credibility, especially at this price. And it's not just text-based errors. Developers testing GPT 4.5 have pointed out that its coding abilities are questionable too. Some reports suggest that GPT 4.5 is worse than GPT 4 in coding tasks despite the massive price hike. If OpenAI's goal was to release a model that businesses could rely on, this isn't it. The AI community expected significant improvements in factual accuracy, but so far the data suggests otherwise. Emotional intelligence over analytical power? Instead of focusing on reasoning and accuracy, OpenAI put a lot of emphasis on emotional intelligence with GPT 4.5. Mia Gleese, an OpenAI research scientist, told MIT Technology Review, that GPT 4.5's biggest strength is its ability to engage in warm, intuitive, natural flowing conversations. This has led to some unexpected reactions online. A viral comment on X, formerly Twitter, summed it up. So GPT 4.5 is the model you vent to? That's where the disconnect happens. Developers, researchers, and professionals aren't looking for a chatbot that understands feelings. They want an AI model that excels at reasoning, problem-solving, and providing reliable information. This shift in focus is raising concerns about OpenAI's priorities. If GPT-4.5 is better at comforting users than solving problems, it could hurt OpenAI's standing in the AI arms race. And that race is heating up fast. Anthropic's Claude 3, Google's Gemini, and Meta's open-source models are all making massive strides. 
If OpenAI's competitors focus on raw performance, while OpenAI leans into emotional intelligence, they might be losing ground. The vibes-based benchmark problem. AI models are typically judged on hard data using standardized benchmarks like MMLU, Massive Multitask Language Understanding, Hella Swag, and GSM 8K. These tests provide objective measurements of an AI model's reasoning, problem solving, and factual accuracy. But with GPT 4.5, OpenAI took a completely different approach. Mark Chen, OpenAI's chief research officer, admitted that GPT 4.5's benchmarks were vibes based. That's not a term you expect to hear in a field driven by scientific rigor and technical precision. Essentially, instead of relying solely on structured tests, OpenAI leaned heavily on subjective feedback, how the model felt to interact with. This immediately raised red flags in the AI community. OpenAI's past models were celebrated for their strong benchmark scores, but this time the company provided no clear data-driven proof of major improvements, and that's a problem. When a model costs $150 per million output tokens, businesses and developers expect measurable gains in performance. Instead, OpenAI's explanation boils down to a vague claim that GPT 4.5 just feels better. For users who rely on AI for serious applications, whether in research, programming, or content creation, this lack of concrete evidence is unsettling. If GPT 4.5 was truly a major upgrade, why wouldn't OpenAI highlight its benchmark superiority? The silence on hard data speaks volumes. The lemon that could cost OpenAI its lead. When an AI model gets labeled a lemon, it means something went fundamentally wrong, not just with its performance, but with the expectations set by the company behind it. And in the case of GPT 4.5, OpenAI might have miscalculated what users actually wanted. One of the biggest criticisms surrounding GPT 4.5 is the disconnect between its intended audience and its actual improvements. OpenAI marketed it as their largest and most knowledgeable model yet, but instead of prioritizing raw intelligence, speed, and reliability, the company leaned into making the model more emotionally intuitive. This shift is raising serious concerns because it suggests that OpenAI may be pivoting away from high-performance AI and toward AI that feels more human. While emotional intelligence might be useful in certain scenarios, like therapy bots or customer service, it's not what developers, researchers, or businesses need from an AI model at this price point. And this goes beyond just sentiment analysis or conversational tone. Some AI experts worry that this approach could signal a shift toward making AI more like a product for casual users, rather than a tool for high-level reasoning and problem-solving. This could be part of a strategic decision by OpenAI to focus on the mainstream market instead of professionals and businesses, where the competition is heating up fast. At the same time, this move could alienate OpenAI's most valuable customers, enterprise users and developers who rely on AI for research, programming, and automation. If GPT 4.5 isn't significantly better at reasoning, coding, or decision-making, then businesses have no reason to pay the premium cost when alternatives like Claude 3 or Gemini Ultra are catching up. What makes this situation even riskier for OpenAI is the growing presence of open source models. Meta's Llama 3 is set to push the boundaries of AI accessibility, allowing developers to customize and fine tune AI models for their specific needs without being locked into OpenAI's pricing model. If businesses start shifting away from proprietary models like GPT 4.5 and toward open source AI, OpenAI could lose a critical segment of its user base. Is the GPU crisis a possible reason for the mess? There may be a bigger reason why GPT 4.5 feels underwhelming, and it has nothing to do with the model itself. Instead, the problem might lie in OpenAI's access to computing power. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman recently admitted that the company is running out of GPUs. This isn't just a minor inconvenience. It's a massive problem that could explain why GPT 4.5 doesn't feel like a major leap forward. To train and deploy cutting-edge AI models, OpenAI relies on massive amounts of computational power. Large language models require trillions of parameters, and the process of training them involves running complex calculations across thousands of high-performance GPUs for weeks or even months. But with the ongoing global chip shortage, even OpenAI is struggling to secure enough NVIDIA H100 GPUs, the industry's gold standard for AI training. 
This lack of hardware could be a key reason why GPT 4.5 feels more like a minor iteration than a groundbreaking upgrade. If OpenAI didn't have the necessary compute power to train a fully optimized model, it might have been forced to release a smaller, less ambitious upgrade just to maintain momentum. And that raises an even bigger concern. What does this mean for GPT-5? If OpenAI is already hitting hardware limitations, training a truly next-gen model could be exponentially more difficult. AI research is moving at an unprecedented pace, and OpenAI's competitors, Google, Anthropic, and Meta, are all investing heavily in their own compute infrastructure. Google has its custom-built TPU chips, Meta is developing in-house AI accelerators, and Anthropic recently secured billions in funding to expand its compute capabilities. Meanwhile, OpenAI remains dependent on third-party suppliers like NVIDIA and cloud providers like Microsoft Azure. If the GPU bottleneck isn't solved soon, OpenAI could fall behind in the AI arms race, not because of a lack of talent or research, but because it simply doesn't have the resources to scale. This also puts OpenAI in a vulnerable position. If Microsoft, its biggest investor, shifts priorities or faces supply chain issues of its own, OpenAI could be left struggling to keep up. While its competitors are actively building solutions to the compute shortage, OpenAI seems stuck relying on external providers. Did OpenAI screw up? GPT 4.5's release isn't just a letdown. It raises serious concerns about OpenAI's direction. Unlike past launches, there's no clear evidence of major improvements in reasoning, coding, or speed. Instead, vague claims and subjective feedback have replaced measurable advancements. At the same time, OpenAI's business model is shifting. Once an open research lab, it's now a closed, profit-driven company facing pressure to release products, even if they aren't ready. With competition from Google, Anthropic, and Meta, users have more choices than ever. This isn't just about one disappointing model, it's about trust. If OpenAI prioritizes monetization over real innovation, it risks losing its competitive edge. GPT-4, the 5th of May, be the first real sign of trouble. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.